So we continue with our challenge to complete the centre map. So let me bring you up to speed on what's been going on. Previously we went and tamed a bee. Actually pretty easy on this map because I don't know if Ark changed something. But we needed to get some honey together so we could tame some snails. And just around the back here I've just put this well little box building so we can supplement our cementing paste intake. Now. If we're going to go the route of using battle rhinos to defeat the guardians, I'm going to need a lot of cementing paste and the saddle is really expensive, but it's the best one I've come across and I did want to complete the map with something different. So the snails, as you can see, they're going to help top things up. I've got quite a few. They're easy enough to get and well, since wildcard have enabled their breeding, you just end up with a mess all over the place. But Cementing paste is trickling in. I've got rid of the Rexes because we're not breeding Rexes and the ones I've got are really good for doing caves and everything I need on the island, really. So over the back here, these are some of the rhinos that I've been taming. So numbers wise, this one on the ends probably the best. It was 42 points in health, 40 in melee. And here are some of the others. Can play around with the points and well, there's still more time to find plenty more creatures. I'm not so worried about the creatures. It was always going to come down to what saddle we would find. But today we're going to go and get the artifact of the pack, which is a very important artifact. It is needed to be able to enter the boss fight. So let's head on out to Skull Island. So I've just come out to the Skull Island as a landmark for you guys to follow along with here. And we'll just go to the entrance on foot. Now you will need a Phylocolio to be able to reach the artifact of the pack if you uh, don't plan to do the obstacle course. But if we just continue in this direction, I also want to start at Skull Island because I wanted to show you the map the, that uh, Zoo Lionel has redrawn for me. He's done such a fantastic job and he's been working on Blender to animate it all and show me how that works and I'm just trying to get my head around Blender at the minute but it really has, uh, it's, it's, it's great job Zol, much love, really appreciate it and I'm going to put a link down to his channel in a pinned comment because he will have a video coming out soon <clears throat> on 3D animation and dinosaurs so if that's your thing definitely go and check Zol out because he, he is a top, top artist and uh, he's someone I've had my eye on for a while now. I have no doubt that uh, the lad is going places. But here we are at the artifact of the Pact Cave entrance and uh, I'm definitely going to have to gamma up for this one. Okay, so I'm going to run through this cave reasonably quick. Just going to stop for loot crates so I can show you how to reach the artifact of the pack. Now, as I mentioned before, there is a whole underground network of tunnels and I highly suggest if you are playing the center map, get lost in there because it's great fun and just as much thought has been put into the underground as the above ground. And I would say, highly underrated map. Ooh. Yeah, I've got spider webbed. So just at the back here, sometimes there's a loot crate that spawns. And I really don't know what the best cave is for loot. I wouldn't say that I've been unlucky. I've got some good stuff. It's just I haven't had any saddles. And the only saddle I have had is that rhino saddle. So um, if we just carry on underneath here. And like I say, I'm just going to ignore everything. We end up coming into this ice crystal little cavern. And like I say, it really is worth exploring all of this stuff. So I'm just going to jump over these, just to our left here, there might be a crate, and yep, there is one, so I'll grab that. Just jump over this stuff, I've probably aggroed a few of the bats. Just get rid of this. Okay, and yeah, there's a couple more coming. Just get rid of them. See which is this yellow one? Um, oh, hey, uh, a woolly rhino saddle and a stego saddle, but 
Willy Rhino's saddle blueprint. Well, hang on a minute. Uh, 70 armor, 500 cement in paste. Um, well, my ascendant one's like 100 armor, so, I mean, I could craft and skill that one up. I mean, that's it, really. I mean, the <laughs> arc's pretty much telling me that I've got to fight the bosses with rhinos. <laughs> I mean, if that's not an omen or what. So... I think I'm just as well go with that. I mean, the the, the Ascendant one is 3,000 cement in paste, so I might just have saved a good two weeks of grinding cement in paste there. Excellent, excellent. Ah, I love it when a plan comes together. Right, we're just going to bounce over the top of all of this stuff, and we're going to jump into the water here. We just need to head towards these steps. And like I say, there's all sorts of directions you can explore and networks, but we're heading for the Artifact of the Pact, and I just wanted to run through all of this section. So when you're playing it yourself and you're on the map, you know, you've got a good idea of where to go. Ooh, just doing the Superman animation there on the Philo. Sometimes happens when you come out of the water. <laughs> okay. Just around the back here. And I don't think any artifacts, um, any loot crates spawn over there, rather. Jump over these things. I do love the fire collie, it's great, isn't it? And just over the top here, we've got one more jump to make, or is it two? There might be a gap just here. No, there isn't. It's just this gap straight in front of us, and we're at the starting line. Just take care of any of the bats. And... I did forget to bring med brews by the looks of it, so. Are they coming? I think they're coming. Yes, they are coming. Let's just put a few shots into them before they get here. I'll probably end up getting bat flu. So yeah, I spoke too soon. I got the bat flu. But I did bring some of my homemade burgers. And that kind of negates the effect and it's going to reload me long neck. So, just where this torch is, just in front of the torch, there's this little black line that acts as an invisible wall for the artifact of the pack. And this is the parkour event. Beyond this point, you can't bring many dinosaurs. Now, one of the creatures you can bring is the Phylocolio, but it will take damage as soon as you bring it in, there's a little tick damage and it won't be long before the creature's dead. But first off, I just want to show you to the back of the cave to show you that grappling hooks do not work in here. And there you go, can't use grappling hooks here. Now, I don't know about tech, but I assume that that's probably not supposed to work and we never have cave flyers on. Well, I'm not running cave flyers because uh, just make it pretty easy but over here is where the parkour event begins and earlier this week we caught up with the complete crew everybody ready for this yes absolutely we got this we got this oh fuck. i am sorry <laughs> but have you fallen in already no um i can't make that jump i know i can't make that jump <laughs> i don't know how you guys made this jump it's terrible <laughs> oh <laughs> bye shiny Bye. She's going the lava. Yes. <laughs> I missed it. Damn. So I'm sure you'll get it again. <laughs> <laughs> right, so... What? You gotta jump that? Oh, yep. what? Right, here we go. Oh, oh, oh! I've done the first bit. Oh! Okay. I found a spot where you can get stuck in here. I'm stuck. Okay, right, yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, I found a spot where um, you can fall behind and you can get stuck. Oh, dear. That's not good. Look. Loot. That's going to be the saddle. No, it's not. But that was what I was thinking. It's ghillie boots and the metal <laughs> skill. <laughs> That one's no sprint jump, that one. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> that was close. Uh, I reckon this one is a sprint jump, though. Um, yes, it was a sprint jump. 
Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh. Are we? <laughs> okay. We lost a Romeo. This is really difficult. Mm hmm. Oh my god, is that a sprint or a jump? Oh. I reckon that's a sprint jump. No! <gasps> oh! Oh. Dude. You made it past the third jump yet, Shiny? Yeah. You liar. Well, I'm not lying. So you got stuck behind some rocks, Vex, and then that's it. You're still there now. <laughs> yeah, I'm still here. I still have uh, a bit of food, you know, on my bar, so it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a while. <gasps> oh, 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 oh. Like, I see two decomposing shinies. <laughs> you make it. Do you? <laughs> yeah. Although you met my my uh, triplets. Is there three of them? <laughs> Quadruplets. <laughs> oh no. Oh right, I see. Once you go past, there's an invisible wall. This is what you guys were talking about, yeah? Oh, uh, that's that's not fair. So I finally ran out of water, and I'm finally at least um suffering from that. Uh, uh, uh. Oh no, oh no. Oh. <laughs> what do you reckon? That's a running jump or just a jump? I ran and jumped. Okay. No! Oh. I wasn't running then. I should have. Okay. Yeah, this is where I... I've, this is as far as I've got. This, this one. It's hard oh, because oh. it's slanted like that. Oh, what do you do here? Do you even jump or do you just walk off? Um, I think I'm gonna walk off. <gasps> no. No, you cheat in... Oh, no. Oh, don't walk off. Okay. <laughs> Whose idea was it to do parkour? Who, who puts parkour in a survival game? Honestly. I know, right? Well, I know who's going to this warrior here right now. We thought that this would be a really good idea. No, no, you're you're here for science. You've got to try and do it legit. Uh, this was how it was meant to be done? This is how it was mm -hmm. meant to be done. Yeah. This is about as far as I usually get. I, them steps. Them next steps is where. Oh, yeah. No! Oh. <laughs> yeah, just about there. Bye, Shiny. <laughs> shiny. <laughs> he cursed me. Oh, 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 I nearly slid off. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was just trying to stand back for you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Karma. God, yeah. What do you reckon? Is it is it a run and jump or is it just a jump? Um, it's definitely a run and jump. Definitely a run and jump. Okay. Okay. <laughs> See you fling yourself <laughs> off there, Joe. <laughs> yes, made it. Okay, so I think I fell off this thing before, but I'm gonna try and jump it now. Don't. Do I crouch and jump? Crouch and jump. Maybe run, jump just a bit. Yeah, that's it. Hey, I'm, I've, I've managed to get. This is the furthest I've got now. Nice. Ooh, oh, I see. Wow, you got all the way over there to that red drop, drop uh, shiny. Yeah. So, uh. <laughs> oh my word, that is a. Um, that's a. Uh, Oh yes! Did you see that, Romeo? I saw you fly across. <laughs> I made it. Let's you do it. No! <laughs> Don't <laughs> I think, jump! I think it's just run off the edges, is it not? Uh, yeah, go for oh, it. Oh, no, 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 no. Even running was too no? much. Yeah, it's just walk off the edge for that. Definitely walk. I have finally died. Okay. Yay! Yay. Well done. <laughs> well done. <laughs> well done on dying. Rumour has it that the ghost of Vexing Cat still echoes these ruins, shouting and cursing the name. Why, James? <laughs> okay, so, as you can see, the Phylocolio can go beyond this point. Many creatures can't, like the Megalania. And as soon as you go past it, you start taking that 70 tick 
damage. And the saddle has no effect here. It's going to be 70 no matter what. Well, actually, it's because it's imprinted to me that it's only 70. If I jump off of the Philo, you'll see it takes 100 damage. So we do get the 30% for being on an imprinted Philo. Oh my god, I feel you're embarrassing me. You can make it, you can make it. But I highly recommend that you go in here with at least 7,000 health on a Philo. Because you might end up doing it like me. Sometimes I can get up there straight away, but oh, come on, Garfield, you're embarrassing me. Don't let me have to bring your brother out. <laughs> so you can, you can make it, you can make it. And like I say, I don't know whether tech works in here. Maybe it does, I suppose it could, but here we go. And as you can see, we're now taking 100 damage per tick, and it really adds up quick. That's because we jumped off it and lose the imprint as soon as you jump off it. Well, lose the 30% reduction. So here we go. Technically speaking, that loot crate in front of me, just drop some of this, should be the best in the game. Will it be the Rex saddle? Well, we don't actually need the saddle now because uh, we're going with Willy Rhinos. And again, not, not bad loot. I've, I've been getting reasonable loot. It's just not so much in the way of saddles. But here we go, the artifact of the pack and the only other way to reach it if you're under official settings. And uh, like I say, when you get to the top, just pod the Philo up and perhaps you can make it quicker than I could. So a huge thanks to the complete crew for helping me demonstrate how awkward the artifact of the pack cave can be on the center map. And incidentally, I think Shiny Bee managed to get the furthest round that obstacle course, but none of us were able to complete it. And I think if you're going in there yourself and soloing it, well, Philocolio is the way to go. So saddle wise, still looking at the Whirly Rhino, but this Journeyman one is certainly looking more appealing here. If I craft and skill that up, we could probably get it up as high as the Ascendant one is, and we don't have to take on the dragon on this map, it is just the monkey and the spider. I did say at the beginning of this series I wanted to take on the Guardians with something a little bit different, and I've never done woolly rhinos in a boss fight before, so I know it's possible, and uh, I look forward to getting our army together. But, that's all the time we have on that one, until next time, I'm James from Complete Games, and I'll see ya.